Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new HTML Dreamweaver tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics to using Dreamweaver. I'm going to be using CS6, but I'm going to show you how to revert your layout so you can see. So it should match all of them pretty much. But try and get the newest one. And this will also cover <coughs> um, the basics of HTML, but I've already done a video for that in Notepad so I'm not going to go too in depth to it. So, first thing you do is you'll open it up and you should get a window a lot like this. If not, don't worry about it. So what we're going to do is first create a new HTML document. Now, I don't know what all of these do, but HTML is your hypertext markup language script. And all that is, is a main web page, that's it. Cold Fusion never heard of. A PHP page is something you use in order to use server side equipment or commands. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. All it means is we'll be able to link to a database, run some Java apps or something like that. CSS, oh, um, PHP stands for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. Yes, it actually stands for PHP. Yeah. But anyway, CSS is Cascade Style sheet and that is basically for making your oh dear well it didn't like me then but anyway CSS is basically making your website look really really fancy you can add rounded borders you can set what your fonts gonna be and everything a lot easier than HTML to do that stuff JavaScript you've all heard of that and um, it's for basically making advanced effects if you want some an image to move or disappear you can use JavaScript XML will probably not be going into but all that does is for storing data and basically layouts in some cases. But yeah, so what we're going to do is either go to File, New, and you should get this, and we're going to click HTML, no layout, and just click Create, or click HTML here. And you should have this. If you don't have it like this, it means you have three buttons up here. You either have Code, which shows you all the code. You have Split, which shows you Split and your design, or you have your design. <coughs> So let's start from the very, very top. So in my version, right here, I've got the big Dreamweaver logo. It doesn't do anything, it's rubbish. But then you've got File, Edit, View, blah, 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 blah. And you've got a few of them. But then you've also got Layout, so how you want it to be laid out, Settings, and some other things. You will probably not be using any of these anytime soon, because they are not needed. So let's move down. We have this bar here. Now most of you, if you're using a new version of Dreamweaver, won't have this bar. It's a really good bar. Get the bar. It's good. It's really easy to do. Simply go to Window, and I believe it's Workspace Layout, and then choose Classic. I believe this is what you have at the beginning. Apologies for that. It decided to render my video and show me. But yes, yeah, so it's not that one. But you go to Workspace Layout, whatever you've got, just click Classic. And you'll get this. It's a lot nicer. So, in here we've got common, layout, forms, data, blah, blah, blah. We'll be using a few of these. So, the common basically gives you things like you'll commonly use on your website. Like a table. Let's add a table. So, if you click it, rows will say we want... Rows are your across, columns are down. Imagine coliseums, columns, they're just the big poles, they're down. They don't go across. So rows you should understand easy now. But yeah, so we'll say um, four rows. So it goes across four times. And we'll say we have four columns. Table width, how wide do you want it? We'll say 1024. Why not? Border thickness, I don't want any. No padding and no spacing. And you can ignore all this and just click OK. So we have a table. Easy, right? Yep. I know. So, we've got other stuff as well, but we won't be using any of these soon. We'll get the basics done first, but forms, that's basically for using, like, registering and stuff. We'll be doing everything, don't worry about that. Um, so, we'll skip all that bit for now because we've done main of it. Over here, we've got a search bar for help, workspace switcher, or main things. Easy. So, right here, you've got untitled dash one, or you should do. That basically means the name of your document at the moment. If you see the star sign, it means you've not saved it. We need to save it, but not yet. So, I've already showed you the code, split, and design. And as you can see, the code's now been updated with a table. And we'll get into this in a minute, but basically, um, doc type HTML blah 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 here basically says 
it's HTML. Use HTML. That's it. Here again is another thing you just basically say use HTML. Start your code. Head is basically the top very very settings of your website if you wish. Meta is basically any meta tags, that's how people find your website or search engines search engines use your website. Title is untitled document, that's basically where it says up above. So let's add something. So instead of untitled document, what shall we add? We'll say YouTube tutorials. You can do it in there or you can do it in code. Either one. So YouTube tutorials. And it ends the head right there. As you can see, a slash means close, no slash means open. So HTML, no slash, HTML, slash. Table. So body is basically everything on screen. Everything in here is a body. So it adds a table with a width of 1024. We set that. We set the border to zero, cell spacing and padding to zero too. TR, that means column. So create column close column. So basically create this column here, add four rows. Low column, add four rows. The and sign MBSP basically means just an empty space. That's all it is. It just creates something. If you didn't have that, it really wouldn't matter. And it just does that all the time. Uh, ends the table, so closes it, closes the body, closes the HTML. If you miss a tag, it's really annoying. So we'll go into the advantages and disadvantages of Dreamweaver as we go along. So, let's add some text, shall we? Now we can do this many ways, but right here I'm going to type characters. In fact, names. And you can see it looks a bit boring, as you can see. So what we're going to do is go to our code, and where it says names, you can either add your code in here, or you can use Dreamweaver's properties down here. So if you go to, say, we'll make it bold, and the, where is it, page properties, not that one, CSS, there we are. Click your CSS, and you can actually give it a diff different font, and you'll notice you can't choose just one font. And what this basically means is Arial, say we'll go to Verdana, Gen Geneva and Sans Serif it will pick all three of those because they are the most similar but if you say a computer doesn't have Verdana it'll load Geneva if it doesn't have that it'll load Sans Serif because either one a computer is going to have all three one of, of the three or all three so we click that and it'll basically say would you like to create a new CSS we're not going to that yet but we have text so names what should we type here we'll say uh, faction type um, age and we'll select all three and just make it all bold with HTML and select bold there we go so names faction type age just going into the really really basics so right don't ever click live view often I do it and I regret it when I've got a big site but yeah so next to it multi-screen that's if you want to see what your website looks on different size screens I always simply keep it at 1024 by 768 as you can see that's what your website looks on a 1024 by 768 monitor easy right yep uh, Right here you've got preview, we'll be looking at that in a minute but what that basically does is lets you see your site in your browser while it's not connected to the internet so it's good the rest is uploading and stuff like that we won't go into that except title which we've already covered which is we'll be uploading it to a server which I'll explain in more depth later on like far tutorials but yeah so what else do we do we can do anything in this but I'm gonna put that back to big screen because there we go so I just click a little button on there these tabs over here, you've got stuff like Abdo Browser Lab, CSS Styles, which you've popped... Yeah, go away. There we go. CSS Styles and other stuff. We'll be going into this later. But basically, don't use Abdo Browser Lab. I've never touched it. CSS Styles, this is where you decide, like, basically state, I'm going to use this CSS style. And don't worry, you will be learning multiple languages. So you'll be learning HTML, PHP, JavaScript, and CSS. But before you've just gone screw that through your keyboard, do whatever, they are all the same. Well, kind of. JavaScript and PHP are very, very similar. And HTML and CSS are even closer. So technically, you've been learning two languages. 
and it's really simple. It looks really good on a CV as well. Build a basic website. Tick. Easy. So, we'll be going into CSS later, and we'll be doing a basic HTML as well. JavaScript and PHP, I've already gone over those languages. Databases here, and bindings and stuff, you can see I've already got something there. You won't have this menu, but don't worry about it. We'll be using that when we link into your database. And files here, you will have this one. And what this basically is, is it stores something called a site. And what you do on your computer is you create a folder called HTML, just like we did in our previous tutorial. And in there, you store everything. Your images, your text, your websites, your pages, everything. Anything you need in your website. And then you just load it in here. And what you can do is tell Dreamweaver, this is my site, this is my local this is where I store all my images, this is where I store all my videos, stuff like that. And it'll organise it neatly like this. So as you can see, this is my current page, my site for what I've done. Danbrooks.dx.am. And it's uploaded for free as well, so I'll show you how to do all that. And basically, this site is not managed as a site yet, so we'll do that later. But all it is, is a neat, neat way for Dreamweaver to link everything. So what the reason I've got databases in here is because that's linked to my online database, in which stores user details, like um, documents and stuff like that. It's really simple. And as you can see, this is how I've organised mine. So I've got pages, which basically stores all the long pages which is going to get very long and then you've got your basic pages like the index and stuff simple right so imagine this right there we've just done that with a table it took us two minutes yeah even teaching you this is what you can do when you take hours and bear in mind I'm still I'm not that fan of design work but if I open it up this is using CSS and um, images with HTML so you can get really nice logos, buttons, and it all works. They all linked up. And believe it or not, there is not a single table in there. Because tables, when you create a website, are often looked down upon. But we'll get into that eventually. So, you've got different stuff here. You've got like links right here, and then buttons, stuff like that. Really simple. And that's what we'll be doing here. But we'll be looking at it in more depth in depth. So all I'm going to say is create a table and add something. So like say we'll get a logo, so I'll show you how to add an image. So if we just click in one of the tables and go insert and then you want to go image. So I've got my site here so I'll just pick an image. It doesn't matter really where you get your image from. So I'll just use buttons and we'll grab the YouTube channel and it doesn't matter and just add it. So here you'll get this after you do it. Alternative text. And now what this is, is W3C Schools, which is an online website, basically writes, if you don't do this on your website, we will sue you. In professional terms, of course. So, basically what they do is have a list of rules so that you can follow it on your website to, in order to make your website available for everyone. So you can't kick users away, or they can't use it, because you don't want them to. It, it makes you have to do it for everybody. It's mostly for, well, it's not mostly, but it's also for dis disabilities and stuff. So people are with slow internets, images won't load, but they will get this text instead, which basically says, this image cannot load, but this is what the title of the image is. So this is where you type it in. So here, we'll type YouTube logo. And if you want a long description, you can add a page here. So this will basically say, this is the YouTube logo. YouTube was founded in blah, 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 blah. But you don't have to do that bit. You, you have to do the alternative text, though. Otherwise, you'll get sued very quickly if you get big. So just click OK, and you get YouTube. You've had an image. That's it. So if you click it, you can add your alternative text here if you forgot. Um, if you want to link it to a page, in link, you can either press your page button and open it up, or you can type www.google.com whatever you want. In fact, I should probably do it properly, youtube.com. Don't sue me YouTube. But yeah. So, target is basically which what where's it going to open? If you've got new, you've got your basic window, it'll open one right in front of it and cover it all. It's a new window. If you click self, it will replace it. And I, I believe if you click blank, it'll add a new tab. If you don't know what they are, just experiment. So, original don't really need to use ID you only use if you're going to be changing the image but what they say is you can put 001 okay it wants us so YouTube logo so when you're wanting to edit it with JavaScript or something you can simply type get com well get image YouTube logo logo apparently if I've typed it 
and then change it do whatever you want with it you got your basic edit buttons like Photoshop and stuff like that and you got your width so we'll change it to say 60 you know basic stuff so I showed you how to insert an image I showed you how to link stuff and I showed you how to add text you can create an entire page just from that don't believe me so we'll change this to home so we'll select this and we'll type in link www.google.com simple right so home's now a link faction is a link too apparently oh well they're all links down perfect so if you click any any of these which apparently links you you can link to something cool so if you click YouTube it'll take you to the YouTube page so let's try it yeah so what we can do just to finish it off is if you go to this little browser thing and click preview in whatever so I'm just going to choose Internet Explorer and then it'll ask you to save it so I'll go to desktop and literally here I'll just type a name so home just for now and then all documents just click HTML uh, there and then click save and it should open it up in bad bad Internet Explorer but yes so Internet Explorer was taking too long so I opened it in Chrome but uh, you can see you've got a website right there now if you were to send this link to anyone else they would, would not be able to access it full stop you need to upload it but we'll get to that when we have a website so these links aren't working just don't worry about that for now but if we were to click YouTube it says YouTube is not found because we've told it to search from there which isn't right so what we're going to basically do is tell it to go to the HTTP HTTP colon two slashes and what that'll do is basically say search the entire World Wide Web save changes yes so we've got it here, if we click YouTube, it'll load YouTube. Hey look at that, Clash of Clans, I have to watch that. <laughs> hey, ha. But yeah, so, if you were to create say a home button, then an about button, YouTube button, projects button, games button, and then say, go to Dreamweaver and create multiple pages, so just like this, simply by going file, new, HTML, create, link them together, you've got a website going. Add some images, some text, so right here uh, this is the this is the YouTube logo why not? I have a basic website going. So we'll get into that late more next time. So that's all I'm gonna do what I want you to do is if you're serious about this and you're gonna carry on watching design a website, make your own website plan it out on paper in Photoshop I use Photoshop myself, paint, whatever you like. Make a website, make buttons, home pages, colour it, colour everything, background, everything. Don't stick to it in tables, put anything where you want it. If you want a home button in the middle of your page, you put a home button in the middle of your page. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want one, put it there. It's your website. But yeah, so put it there, and what I'll do is I'll don't know I'll try and think of a website design too and then we can come back and I'll show you tips and techniques to put it together and then once we have the website we can make it link together so like make multiple pages link to each other and then we can add a form and with that form we can make it add to a database so in order to add to that database we need to upload it to the internet so to upload it to the internet we need to get a server and when we get a server which we'll be doing for free, 100% free, no strings attached, it's free for a year, 100% free, completely, any country, any language, free, it's good, you know, no money, no, what's better than free, but yes, so it's really good server space, we'll be using award space if you want to have a look, I wouldn't recommend tinkering with settings in case you mess something up unless you know what you're doing, but yeah, so we'll upload it, you'll see your website online, then you can distribute it, so we'll make it do cool stuff. So thank you for watching. Sorry it's long, but I'm really trying to get you head on Dreamweaver. Um, it, Dreamweaver is a good tool. It's rated the number one web design tool because it's by Adobe. So yeah. But try it out. Experiment. Do whatever. If you want to use tables, use tables. It's up to you. I'll show you a better way to use tables anyway. Because tables, you can't exactly say put 52x pixels. Whereas in... Um, CSS when you do it you can you can literally say put it five pixels away from the edge and it's brilliant but yeah so thank you for watching I hope you liked it sorry it's so long but I'm pro really trying to show you everything 
but we'll get into it again more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you.